Hello, AFI Movie Club. My name is Jeff Nichols, and I am the writer and director of Loving. So this is a scene that happens in the back third of the film. And the reason I chose this to look at is it kind of, it's kind of the reason I wrote the film, to be honest. Um, if you've seen the entire film, you know, at the end, there's a quote from Mildred Loving uh, that I found in my research that I was really struck by, where she says, um, when speaking of Richard after his death, uh, I miss him. He took care of me. And that was a quote from 2008. Richard died in the late 70s, uh, killed by a drunk driver. And it really kind of got to the heart of what I think Richard's character was dealing with in this entire situation, which was the fact that he was not allowed to take care of his family. Um, that that concept, that privilege maybe was, was taken from him um, through this entire circumstance. I can take care of you. <laughs> For a guy who was a working class guy and a brick mason, I found it very interesting that he wouldn't be allowed to do the very simple thing of love his family and provide for them. And I figured that had to weigh on him, especially when I read that quote from Mildred. So I actually reverse engineered this scene as a result of that quote. And I think Joel Edgerton and Ruth Nega in this, in this scene, they just, they understood it so intimate, intimately, it, it turned out to be one of my favorites. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, in a visual medium like filmmaking and um, that visual storytelling, so many people put so much weight on words, but it really is a visual medium. And I think what's sometimes most interesting in a scene isn't what's being said, but is what is being seen, especially on a, an actor's face and, and what is processing through a character. And when you have actors of the quality level of Ruth and Joel, for instance, you can really remove dialogue and let, um, let moments be shared between them in silence. And I think sometimes that, that actually carries more weight um, because really filmmaking to me is a, it's an impressionistic art form. And I think sometimes we draw more from a scene through the impressions that it gives rather than the specificity. And I think this is an example of it. But in all honesty, um, even though that's an approach that I apply in a lot of my films, it really was the appropriate way, I think, to show Richard and Mildred. I believe this is how they were. I, of course, never met them, but I believe they were very quiet people. And I knew growing up in the South, um, my grandfather in particular was a man that reminded me very much of what I think Richard Loving was like. And these were people that did not depend on the vocabulary to express themselves. It just makes sense that the stories that start um, to be told are, are representative of, of this beautiful diaspora of people that have access to them. Um, and that's, that's what I really think is, is interesting. I think it's always made sense to tell stories from different perspectives. Um, and now it's just so shockingly, um, shockingly apparent that, that I just don't think the powers can be, um, will deny that. And what's even more exciting is that the powers that be are starting to represent those voices and those different perspectives. And, um, and that's, that's, I think what it really takes.